Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to Easy Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss parietal bone. They are two in number and they form most of the vault of the skull. This is individual parietal bone. At first, anatomical points. The superior border is longest, thickest and serrated. Superior border lies in the median pane. The external surface is convex and directed upward and outward. The anterior inferior angle is equate and internally marked by group 4 anterior division of middle meningeal vessels. This is the location of the group 4 posterior division of middle meningeal vessels. Morphological type of bone, flat bone. The structure of the parietal bone, parietal bone is formed by the outer and inner tibial which is formed by the compact bone and middle diploid which is spongy bone. Parietal bone ossify in membrane so ossification is intermembranous ossification. The whole skull is developed from two source neural crest and paraxial mesoderm. So parietal bone is developed from paraxial mesoderm. The parts of parietal bone, this is external surface, this is internal surface, external surface smoother than the internal surface, internal surface is irregular due to the presence of sulci gyri of the cerebrum and group for middle meningeal vessels and venous sinus. The four border present in parietal bone, this is the longest border, superior border, more straight anterior border, the irregular inferior border and st straight posterior border. Four angle anterior superior, anterior inferior, posterior superior and posterior inferior angle. The anterior inferior angle is most accurate. The discussion of different parts of the parietal bones. The border of the parietal bones this is the superior border already discussed, the longest, thickest and serrated. Internally there is a group is present. This group is united with opposite parietal bone and form the sagittal sulcus which loss a special vein superior sagittal sinus. The superior border is articulate with superior border of opposite parietal bone and form the fibrous joint. Uh, sutural joint and form sagittal sul suture. This is the sagittal suture. And near the superior border, some depressed area is present. This is known as the granular pit, which loves arachnoid granulation. The anterior and posterior border is uh, relatively straight, and anterior border is articulate with frontal bone and form coronal suture. The posterior border is articulate with occipital bones and form lambdoid suture. The inferior border is irregular and middle of the inferior border internally marked by the group 4 posterior division of middle meningeal vessels. The inferior border articulate with three bone from before backwards, smaller part by articulate with greater wind of the sphenoid. Most of the part is articulate with squamous part of the temporal bone and lastly mustoid part of the temporal bone. The angle of the parietal bone. This is the anterior superior angle of the parietal bone. This area also known as the bragma. In children it is also called anterior fontanelle. So what is fontanelle? Fontanelle is anatomical feature of infant human skull. They are soft membranous gap between the cranial bones. This fontanelle allows the skull to deform during birth and also for expansion of brain after birth. A shunken fontanelle indicates dehydration. A bulging fontanelle indicates rise intracranial pressure. This is anterior fontanelle. It is situated in between frontal suture, coronal suture and sagittal suture. This is lozenge shape and its diameter is 4 cm 
enter posteriorly and 2.5 centimeter transversely and it is close 12 to 18 months. The posterior superior angle this is also known as the lambda and in case children this is known as the posterior fontanelle. So this is posterior fontanelle triangular in shape and it is close 6 to 8 weeks from birth. The premature complete ossification of suture is called the craniosynesis. The anterior inferior angle of the parietal bone, this area is also known as the trerion and this membranous portion is known as the phenoidal fontanelle. The trerion is important clinically because internally it is uh, um, related with group for anterior divisions of the middle meningeal vessels. So middle meningeal vessels is situated uh, is related with terion. Terion uh, is uh, union of four bone the frontal bone the gator window of the sphenoid squamous part of the temporal bone and anterior inferior angle of the parietal bone. The posterior inferior angle of the parietal bone, this area also known as the estradion and in case children, this membranous part is known as the mustard fontanelle. This uh, angle internally is uh, present a group present and this is lost the sigmoid sinus. The summary of the closure of the fontanelle at first the posterior fontanelle is coarse, then sphenoidal fontanelle, then mustard fontanelle, and lastly anterior fontanelle. External surface of parietal bone. The external surface of the parietal bone is uh, marked by the two line the superior temporal line and inferior temporal line. Superior temporal line is attached with temporalis fascia and the lateral part of the epicranial aponeurosis and inferior temporal fascia uh, sorry line external surface of the parietal bone. The external surface of the parietal bone has two line the superior temporal line and inferior temporal line. Superior temporal line attached with the temporalis fascia and lateral part of the epicranial aponeurosis and inferior temporal line is attached with the temporalis muscle. So this is temporalis muscle and this is temporal fascia and the parietal um, this portion of the parietal bone from most of the part of the um, temporal fascia. The parietal foramen. The location of the parietal foramen is close to the posterior part of the superior border. This is the superior border. So it is located the posterior part of the superior border of the parietal bone. This is the endless parietal foramen. Parietal foramen is uh, transmit a emission vein which connect the suprasagittal sinus and extracranial vein. So these are the extracranial veins and this is intracranial veins, this is suprasagittal sinus. So uh, this emission vein is connected with the extracranial vein. So this is the location of the parietal foramen. Uh, this is the parietal tuberosity, um, the most convex portion of the parietal bones and it has chemically important because ossification start here and maximum transverse diameter of the skull is measured here and so this is used in surface anatomy and just beneath the parietal tuberosity, the posterior ramus of the lateral circus of the brain is terminate and this area uh, is related, the parietal tuberosity is related with Wernicke's sensory speech area. The internal surface is detected 
uh, uh, internal surface is convex and directed downwards and medially and it is irregular due to the presence of sulci gyri of the cerebrum and uh, there is the impression of group for the middle meningeal vessels this is the external carotid artery and this is the middle meningeal vessel this is anterior divisions which related with the anterior inferior angle of the parietal bones and this is the posterior division which is related with inferior uh, border of the parietal bone middle portion of the inferior border of the uh, parietal bone this is the sulcus sagittal sulcus which lost sagittal sinus this elevated margin this is uh, is attached with the Fox cerebri. This is Fox cerebri. This granular bridge already discussed. Uh, large arachnoid granulation. This is arachnoid granulation. The this is the um, group for sigmoid sinus. It is situated internally near the posterior inferior angle. The parietal bone is related with the frolling part of the veins. It is uh, overlap all four lobe of the cerebrum, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, part of the occipital lobe and part of the temporal lobe. So these are the areas which are related with parietal bone, central sulcus, postcentral gyrus, pcentral gyrus, interparietal sulcus and superior parietal lobe and lateral sulcus, uh, supramarginal uh, gyrus, the angular gyrus and superior temporal gyrus. So following are the functional area related with parietal bones, motor area, sensory, primary motor area, primary sensory area, uh, the Broca's uh, speech area and primary and secondary auditory area, vernix sensory pitch area. These are the area which related with parietal bone. Two imaginary line is related with parietal bone. First line extends three to four centimeter behind the anterior superior angle and it's uh, run downwards and end near the anterior inferior angle and it's um, correspond with the central sulcus of the cerebrum and it separate the frontal lobe of the cerebrum with parietal lobe so this is the location of the parietal bone second line extending from the parietal tuberosity and it's ne and near the anterior inferior angle and it's correspond with the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus and it's separate the frontal and parietal lobe from the temporal and occipital lobe so this is all about parietal bone if you like this video please press the like button and please subscribe my channel